Hey there, Wildcats. Welcome to our first episode of 2024. I'm Misty Mutters from CETA Media, bringing the latest of what's happening here at the Woods. Students spend four years in high school preparing for their future endeavors. Some will travel far from Cyprus, while others stay close to home. And some will find their way back to the Woods. Travis Westbrook has more to this story. Anybody? Starting a career in teaching can be a daunting experience, but the stress is reduced when coming back to a familiar place. I know where everything is sort of thing, like I would at least know where the cafeteria is and I know if we're having a meeting in the auditorium where it is. So like as a first year teacher, at least being comfortable with the building was really big for me. And then also like knowing the culture of Woods and like the striving for excellence kind of thing. There are many reasons why these teachers have chosen to return to the Woods. What made me come back to teach at Cy Woods is just the teachers that I ended up having. They inspired me to be teachers whenever I was here at Cy Woods, and so I wanted to be the same way in the community that I grew up in. The instilled culture of Cy Woods is another reason why many of these teachers decided to return to their alma mater. My favorite thing about high school at Cy Woods was definitely the spirit. I wanted to go somewhere that was deep in traditions after having such a positive experience with the traditions at Cy Woods. Well, I was teaching in another school in the same school district and I just realized that I really missed that like school spirit and how everyone is really involved, not just students, but the teachers as well. Administration is thrilled when a former Wildcat applies for a position at the Woods. For a student to become a teacher here and to return to Cypress Wood, it shows me that they love their experience here. They, no one's going to go back to a place that they didn't love and enjoy. So it makes me proud that we have 17 teachers on staff who are currently Wildcat students, and they want to return back because they want to return back for us to be their teaching family, and that is a beautiful thing. Choosing to come back is a great feeling, but the new role can be an adjustment. It's, it was a little weird at first. Uh, Mr. Kent, who teaches world history, he was actually my world geography teacher as a freshman. And I don't think I started calling him by his first name until last year. <laughs> Still kind of feels like some sort of academic home. Um, but now I have my own room with my own decorations and my own responsibilities besides um, just hanging out here. Knowing the school culture allows these educators to help current students understand the power of 212 feels like you get a behind the scenes look at what it actually like takes to make it appear that way to people. So like all the planning that actually goes into the lessons and the pep rallies and the sports because I coach too. And to see all of the hard work that goes into creating the woods experience for the kids. I think that's really cool. <laughs> We're kind of the people who have to really embody 212 for the students. They can see what that's like in the classroom. And that's both as a teacher and as someone who has a lot of school spirit as well. The school is blessed to have these former Wildcats back at the woods. Once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. Reporting for CW Media, I'm Travis Westbrook. Cy Woods is lucky to have such amazing teachers. In fact, each school year, one special teacher is honored with the distinction of Teacher of the Year. This year, that teacher is Jeannie Lasowski. Earlier this month, the administration surprised her with the announcement. It made me feel really honored because we have a lot of really good teachers at this school, and the fact that someone thought that I went like above and beyond, I just was very humbled. Ms. Lasowski is dedicated to being the best, and her efforts are evident by receiving this distinction. It's 26 years of service. I mean, 26 years of giving up my weekends, giving up my time with my family. Um, it's just, it's everything. It makes me feel like, hey, it was worth it. And when your peers think you're good at your job, it makes you feel good. Congratulations, Ms. Laskowski. She definitely chose a career that was right for her. Choosing one can be difficult, but with the help of the career and technical education programs offered in CFISD, students can find their path as well. Check out this story from Ethan Mao. High school is a time where students can discover their passions and begin to work towards their future careers. To help students, CFISD offers 30 different programs of study to choose from. A program of study is a sequence of courses that students take that go from general to more specific as students advance through the program. Each program also offers industry-based certifications, which students are able to take for a fraction of the cost that they would pay outside CFISD. Many of the career and technical education courses allow students to explore their career through hands-on experience. In my program, um, I work in behind the scenes of the pharmacies. I also get to 
fill prescriptions and like label them and just I get to learn about other medications and how they help each patient. The courses also provide students the opportunity to discover what they like about their potential career choice. Um, what I like the most about architecture would be the elevations and floor plans that we make in AutoCAD as well as the architecture models that we build out of balsa wood. I loved uh, learning about how to take care of myself and my health and it made me want to learn how to help others as well. 54% of jobs in Texas require skills training. Taking these courses gives students a firm starting point in their careers. The certifications that students earn in these programs of study qualify students for jobs right out of high school or give them a leg up when applying for post-secondary education, sometimes even replacing coursework. Students agree that taking these classes will help benefit them in the future, even if they are unsure this is the career path they will ultimately follow. I would definitely recommend, even if it's not your final career choice, you'll still make amazing friends and unforgettable memories. Even if you're not sure about being in the medical field, it's still a good learning lesson because you still learn a lot out of it. Be sure to check out all the pathways offered in CFISD by going to the Career and Technical Education page on the CFISD website. Reporting for CDUB Media, I'm Ethan Mao. There are so many programs to choose from to prepare students for their future. The school also has resources for students to help with academics. One of those is the library. We have a new librarian, Andy Scraddick, and she has a passion for books. When I was an English teacher, I just wanted to talk about books and be around books and all of the things about reading. And so I didn't want to teach them writing or grammar or anything else. And so when the librarian at that school retired, I thought it was a perfect chance to get in there and get into the library. She's excited to be at the woods and ready to get to work helping students. We have a really great library program already, so I, I plan to continue that. And then there's always uh, new things to do, new programs and things like that. So um, there's a couple of things down the road that we're thinking about. And uh, you guys should stop by the library again. Check it out. Be sure to stop by, say hello, and check out everything the library has to offer. That's all the time we have for today. Stay updated on everything happening at the woods by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow us on all of our socials. Just look for CDUB underscore media. Thanks for watching CDUB today as we strive every month to go the extra degree.